everyone welcome back to my channel sorry i've been away for so long i was really busy with university and then i was on vacation so yeah i had to spend a lot of time away from the internet but now i am back with another tutorial this tutorial is going to be the second part of my two-part series on remembering choices last time we talked about how to use games to remember choices the link to that video is in my description box, so make sure to check it out if you haven't already. Also, if you like my videos and think that my tutorials are helpful, please subscribe to my channel and like this video, it really means a lot to me. Alright, without further ado, let's get into this tutorial. The first thing you're going to do, of course, is open up your episode writer portal and the story in which you want to use the point system. For this video, I am going to be using a script that I'm actually working on. Since the point system is a way to remember one or more choices, we are going to start by writing in a choice. In this example, the choice is how to respond to somebody. The character is called Nora and she has the choice between saying thank you or saying thanks, but I can take care of myself. The point system is going to let the reader have an actual impact on the relationship between the main character and the other characters in the story. The most famous example is, of course, the relationship between the main character and his or her love interests. But how do we use the point system? Well, it's actually not that difficult. Every character in the story can be given or withdrawn points, depending on the choice that the reader chooses. In this example, if the reader chooses to say thank you, the main character is going to lose one point in his relationship with the other character which is named Ilanga. To implement this change in the relationship, you are going to use the following command. At name of the character whose relationship is going to be affected, minus one because in this scenario, the main character is losing one point in his relationship with Ilanga. Please note that the character whose points you are changing has to be on screen at the moment where the command is happening, or else the points will not be registered. I also like to add a little reader message when the points are changed, just to let the reader know that his decisions had an impact on the story. Since we lost a point right here, I'm going to write in Ilanga did not like your attitude. On the contrary, if the reader chooses to say thanks but I can take care of myself, he is going to earn a point in his relationship with Ilanga. The command is the same as the one before, except that instead of writing minus one, we are going to be writing plus one. All right. Now, before you go any further, I recommend that you stop and check if your choice is working. Let's see what happens if I click on thank you. You can see the reader message pop in right up there. And there are no errors in my script, so it's safe to assume that for now, everything is working fine. For a good measure, let's just see what happens if I click on thanks, but I can take care of myself. The correct reader message pops in, and once again, there are no error messages in my script, so I think everything is fine. All right, now that we've added or withdrawn one or more points uh, to a character, let's see how that actually impacts the relationship later on in the story. In this example, I'm going to put the consequence of the choice a few lines after it, but in your story, you can let the reader gain or lose points as many times as you want in any chapter that you want, and you can write in the consequence or the consequences of those choices in any chapter that you want once again. Here, my main character, Nora, is going to ask Ilanga, the person with whom her relationship was affected by the previous choice, if he agrees to help her during the upcoming safari. His answer is going to be based on his number of points. To do this, we're going to be using the command if and the command 
else. First of all, let's start with if. If Ilanga has a number of points bigger than zero, which means that the reader chose to say thank you, but I can take care of myself because he earned a point when he said that, here is the consequence. Ilanga is going to tell Nora, yes, I'm going to help you. And don't forget to put the end bracket at the end of your consequence. Now, what happens if he actually lost a point? You're going to be using else. This means that the reader has zero or less points in his relationship with Ilanga. Therefore, Ilanga's answer is going to be no way, your attitude sucks, because the reader lost a point. And once you're done writing in your consequence, don't forget to put in the end bracket. And you're done! Now, let's test the story and see if it actually works. And everything worked fine! This is the end of this tutorial. As always, if you enjoyed this tutorial or if it helped you, don't hesitate to like this video and to, su you, <laughs> and to subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you in the next tutorial. Bye!